This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob from Central Oregon, living in Homestead. And today is a miscellaneous day. It's so bad I have a list. That's a list. What do we got to do today? Well, we got to, you know that fancy automatic chicken water I made? Kind of leaks like a sieve, so I need to kind of redo that. Wasn't one of my better moments. <coughs> we need to measure this crazy door because <coughs> we broke it. And uh, let's see what else I got on my list. I got to kill some red ant piles. We get red ants here a lot. And I get kind of more worried about uh, the dogs getting into them. Anyway, I got this really good spray uh, we use for red ants. And um, it was recommended to me. He finds it. This stuff I've been using for red ants actually works really good. It's called uh, Termite and Carpenter Ant Killer by Bonic? Bonite uh, <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, uh, you just a little dab will do you. When you put it in water, it looks kind of milky. And uh, you just spray it on the pile. And next day they're all gone, so yeah, it works good. I got so many things for gardens. And, sorry, <laughs> what else is on the list today? Uh, oh yeah, I remember when we had our had our storm. We uh, what the heck? Get out of there, guys! Out, man! It just never ends around here. So. I've got a dead mouse in the dog's swimming pool. <laughs> Does it ever stop? Jeez. Anyway, so I gotta get, clean that out before the dogs get in there. Oh, get away from the water. We got to fix that. Okay. Um, so we gotta seal the nesting boxes because they leaked during the storm. Um, where the door lifts up and easy fix, and we kind of expected that. So uh, this is a good day to do that. Um, I need to create a compost bin, little something little in the uh, kitchen so we can throw our scraps in there and empty it every day into the compost pile. Uh, then I got to go out. We'll go out there in a minute. Um, I'm getting ready to take the tractor out and start fixing up the area where we do a 25 by 25 garden and get it all. Um, well, here, let me show you. Come here, guys. Come. Um, <laughs> I don't trust them to stay around that pool until I get a water change. So, when her father-in-law lived here, my uh, mother-in-law loved flowers, and every year they get new hanging baskets, and then he just put all the old hanging baskets in a pile here. Well, there's really good dirt in those, all those. So, once I clear out the new area for the um, garden I'm gonna dump all these and throw away all these containers into the garden and mix it in along with uh, I'm gonna go buy some uh, manure and stuff like that and really ch churn up the uh, the ground uh, because I also ordered <laughs> a new rototiller and this isn't just any rototiller our we're going to do a special videos coming up after this <clears throat> or before this. I don't know when. Um, <clears throat> it's our 40th anniversary. And what says love more than a rototiller? <laughs> Seriously. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so that's on the list. Um, and I got to change the spark plug on the um, lawnmower again because the new one's sputtering stuff. I'm kind of thinking it's a gap issue. I'll uh, see what it looks like and but I have an extra spark plug for it anyway so lots of honeydews today and uh, on the list apparently I need to remove a mouse and clean the water in the dog's pool so let's get on that another good use for Ranger Rob poopy bag
okay the mouse crisis is over rinsed out her pool and uh, I like to let it dry out because uh, sometimes the water turns green all that stuff I want to make sure everything kind of dies so I let it sit for a day and then uh, rinse it out one more time and then fill it up for the puppies so uh back to the chores I haven't got to the list yet So it looks like it's 35 and a half by 79. That's a weird measurement. 79 inches tall, 35 and a half inches wide. Okay, now we know. Okay, we we're out in the property here. I've been searching around for the little red ants. Sherry said it was over by the stake where we're marking the garden, and she was right. And if we look really close, it's, I'll let you see them. Okay, so. All I have to do is take this stuff, add it with water, looks like milk, spray it around this thing and they'll be gone in a day. It's amazing. <laughs> so they say to spray this about in a four foot area around where they're at and uh, it really works good. Um, we get a lot of red ants here. Um, some people say having ants around their garden is beneficial, but I get a little worried about the red ants because they tend to like to nip people. And my dogs, knowing them, they'll lay right in it. So anyway, so we got to say goodbye to the ants. Well, just the other day I changed the fuel filter and the spark plug in this thing and it's still kind of sputtering. And uh, so I'm going to pull the spark plug again, check the gap, and either replace it again or see if I have a gap checker to see if that's the problem. So, ah, let's <laughs> endless things to do today. So I actually went back to the old spark plug because it looks a lot different but the number I pulled up is um, anyway so I decided to take a steel brush clean up the old one and we'll put this in and see how she runs alrighty I got her working still kind of popping a little bit but uh, I think I think it will survive so we'll see how well when Shuri uh, goes to hit the lines again. So we'll just shut her down. Ah, sorry about the noise. Alright, back to our other projects. Okay guys, we're on the run again. Got my handy dandy electric drill. I'm going to go out to the chicken pen and remove my automated water feeder and start over on that. Because wasn't one of my finest moments. Alright, as you can see, I did not get these on tight enough or sealed good enough, so I've got major leakage going on here. And uh, it's my fault. So I'm going to take these off, remove the whole thing, and rebuild it. here in the shop I took the little nipples off uh, I'm just gonna redo this whole bar and uh, what I'm not sure about is uh, my camera here a little bit is I cleaned up 
these little nipple things but they uh, have a little unique thing here where you can take them off and clean them but I'm kind of wondering if I was getting leaking through one of those so uh, we'll just have to see I'm going to uh, get a new three quarter inch PVC pipe run a little tighter holes seal them a little bit more appropriately I kind of Mickey Mouse it and uh, reinstall and see what happens all right it's getting uh, close to tractor time so uh, I guess I gotta change the bucket from a shopping cart to an actual digging bucket so I gotta get this stuff out of here we'll fire it up and take it out there and start seeing what it'll take to clean up that area for our 25 by 25 foot garden got this thing all churned up pretty much got all the uh, big uh, plants uprooted the rest is going to be up to the new uh, rototiller that we ordered so uh, I just wanted to kind of get this all churned up a little bit we'll organize it in rows we're going to go with like 30 inch rows uh, I have to be kind of careful over here because my father-in-law had a project he started but didn't finish and put a water system in between here and I don't know exactly how he did the hoses so I'm gonna do this by hand with a rototiller uh, and there's some plants I don't want to spray and there's I got to find out which ones are okay and which ones aren't like tomatoes it's a good way to get blight and things like that so I don't know I uh, have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this but uh, in the meantime you can see our dirt it's a real fine sandy dirt doesn't have much nutrition in it so we got to get this organized get our rows made and start uh, putting additives into this dirt uh, and make it healthier and then also we'll cover it in plastic all year uh, to uh, kill all the weeds and by next spring this baby will be ready to grow some veggies we hope <laughs> So anyway, that's all I'm going to show you for today. It was a busy day. Lots of other projects are going on. My day's still young. I want to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Sorry about the wind. Uh, please share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. Uh, and help us grow. Um, just right now when you get a chance, before you stop, share this video out a little bit and get people to join our family. It kind of helps support us. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.